Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a custom archive template using Bloxy's content blocks. Alright, to begin, let's take a look at our blog archive layout. And you can see here, it's just called news, but this is how our archive looks like. And you can see that it's laid out this way, but at the same time, we can configure it with our customizer, but we can customize it however which way we want using Bloxy's content blocks. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard over here, hover over Bloxy, and click on content blocks. All right, once we're here on our content blocks, you can see all of our other content blocks over here in layouts, and click on add new. On the right hand side here, click on custom template, and it's already selected on the drop down as archive template. Let's call this blog archive template. Okay, but you can name this anything you want. All right, and make sure to click create content block. All right, just click it once because it might make multiples. And it takes us to our Gutenberg block editor. Okay, so just with anything else, we can insert our blocks from here and we can insert whatever we want. But the main thing we have to keep in mind are the blocksy settings over here on the right hand side. So click on this and replace conditions. It's add replace conditions. And we can click on archives or post categories or post tags. And we can also exclude certain users. So if we had users that we, we wanted to lay it out a bit differently, we can do that. We can uh, change out the layout depending on the date and time. And we can have it, let's say, every Thursday or every Friday, right? And let's say we had a category that's like electronics. We could, we could have the layout be different in that way. But let's just have this all archives just so it's easier to see the difference, make sure we can uh, look between, uh, check them, check between them like it's night and day, and we can choose this as our dynamic content. This is just um, selecting what content we want to preview. We don't have to use this. All right. We can also change just the cards, or we can change the full page. All right. So the cards means just these uh, individual elements here, these blocks, but. If you selected full page, you could choose to disable the sidebar from here. And if you went into the customizer, these options would be disabled there. All right. And you can change the background and so on. You can make it boxed or wide. Let's make it boxed. Make it look cool. And you can change your vertical spacing here. All right. Okay. So we could either go up here and click on posts and there's post lists, um, custom post types. We can click on this and it should add our posts. And there it is. And that's our layout and we can add other blocks here as well. Let's, let's put an accordion or something. All right. Here, and let's just have the default one. Oops. All right, we can have this as an example element that we don't have to put into here, right? And we can also add, we can add our carousel over here. Let's say this is one, and then this is this is two. Okay, and then just just so we can see that there's there's a difference between them. Okay, and that should be fine. All right, and let's click on update. And this is like a simple blog archive template. And once we refresh this, there you can see we have our um, our example elements here. Or we have our slider. We have that, and then this is laid out a bit different. Okay, but another cool thing we can do is let's get rid of this block here, and then we can search posts. And in our block editor, we have a few layouts to choose from. So a while ago, we had. Uh, we had the horizontal ones, and then we had this grid over here. What if we wanted this layout here? We can just drag and drop this pattern, okay? And we can update it. And you saw a while ago, there were a few to choose from. And here we are. Okay, so we have our example elements here, and we have our um, custom layout from our block editor over here. 
And if you clicked on this, clicked on these, we can change out the image colors, we can select the block, and then we can go on to our, um, our sidebar options over here, make sure this is selected. And you can see that we have advanced settings, like we can change the block name, we can change how many columns there are, right? Let's make it two, and then we can make the block spacing closer or further apart. Let's make them kind of close, all right? And let's click update, and let's refresh this. And you can see that our archive layout is a bit different now, and we still have our other elements that we chose to insert here. So that's how you make a custom archive template in Bloxy's content blocks. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.